their Jack Flash, fantastic black steer, competing against this, uh, again, limousin cross from the Mets, uh, from Stuart Met and Lindsay Mackay. And the winner of this receives this amazing trophy, ladies and gentlemen, kindly uh, presented in 1911 by King George V. With an amazing piece of history. I always think it would be wonderful to have a line-up of the cattle that have won this trophy over the last hundred years. And so the competition goes on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. The culmination of an amazing day's judging, really. We've got two cattle, both livers and cross, 69 versus 84. Ladies and gentlemen, before Michael makes up his mind, I think he would like to say a few words to you. Thank you very much. Um, I've always wanted to judge the uh, Scottish Wind Affair, so I'd like to thank the Scottish uh, Fat Stop Club for inviting me to judge this wonderful show. <clears throat> I always come up here and the cattle are always uh, full of meat and they're also balanced, correct on the legs, and the sort of cattle I like. I've been looking for cattle today. Obviously, first impressions, they must be balanced and showy but I wouldn't put them forward unless they carried a good eye muscle running through the back and not excessive fat cover, but you want at least a three or a four L and great balance. I think the two cattle I've got here left at the end, the heifer and the steer, are great examples of that. They're handy weight cattle. I would imagine somewhere between five and 600 kilos. Uh, when you go around the front of them, they've got tremendous tops in them. Great depth of eye muscle when they come out of the hips. Great plates on them. Um, I'm going to now slap my champion. Um, there's nothing in the, the probably steers a little bit more, slightly more cover than the heifer. Um, the heifer may be a little bit more showy. Uh, very little in them, and I'm going to pick my champion. Thank you very much. Well, Michael, thank you very much indeed, and I know it's been a real pleasure for us to have you uh, judging here uh, today. So, where is our judge going to go? 84. 84 is the winner, ladies and gentlemen. Marvellous. Mo. Tremendous limousine heifer there by Lodge Danny Boy. The Lodge Bull is the, uh, owned by the Callians down at Stirling, and uh, they'll be delighted as well. Bred by Alistair McLaren from um, Kudros from Tleslocky and uh, a great accolade for him as well. So, owned by Lindsay Mackay and Stuart Betts, number 84, the winner of the coveted King George V trophy. Well, it's a game for the ladies. And uh, Sir Grant Morrison, Sir Grant Morrison uh, from Bamshire, takes the reserve spot with number 106. Two 
Section number 307 in your catalogue. The average 51 kilos of the champion lambs today from Messrs Hall. 220, 220, 220, 250, 250, 50, 250. 250 pound they go then. 250, 250 pound, I bid that 250 pound they go. All done. Away this time at 250. Thank you, Mr. Kirkup. Thank you. The judge. Thank you, sir. You back your judgment. Thank you very much indeed. The reserve champions from Andrew Morton, the Bell Texas here, they were reserve in the Butchers Championship and they were reserve overall. The first prize in their class, 170, 170, away this time at 170 pound, all done this time but 170. Thank you Mr Scott Paisley. First prize black faces and a very strong show of black faced lambs here this year and these lambs average 40 a half. 125. 125 I've been I'll give you the same chance. I'll go halfway. Come on. You're a sportsman. I think you will. I think you might. 128. 30. 130 to go. 5. 135. 135. Thank you, Mr. Cumbry. Now these were the Mountain Breed champions. A pair of tremendous Chibiat lambs here, ladies and gentlemen. From Brian McTaggart from Dugan Hill. They were Mountain Breed champions, recipient of the Swan Trophy and the average 46 and a half. 140, I've been down 145, I've been down 140, 140, 140, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 60, 60, 60, 60 70. 170, I've been down 70, I've been down 170, 170, 170, I've been down 170 pound all finished. Thank you, Mr. Kirkup, the judge. Thank you, sir. 